When did you realize your friends weren't actually your friends? When I realized I was practically harassing them to hang out with me. Just gotta get some self-respect and learn to let it go. I would never hear from anyone unless they needed something, usually when they wanted it for free. That's about where I'm at RN. I have like two friends that actually knew besides my GF, the rest only talk to me if they're trying to sell me drugs or buy drugs. When my divorce became public. Lost everybody. X and I are on friendly terms but everyone I thought would be there ghosted me. Even the ones I was friends with before the relationship. When I got ill, once they realized I could no longer throw parties for them they all left. I hope you have found friends that will stick with you. I'm too old for that now, this happened about 10 years ago. I've been fine people. Mom got cancer and I had to come home and drop out of college to help the family, said I might need some emotional support etc, and got ghosted the next day, real shitty part is I helped one of them with their grandmother's cancer and brothers attempted suicide. I am so sorry to hear that. That was disgusting of them. I hope you and your mom are doing great. When I broke up with a girl that I had dated for less than 5 months and they all abandoned me for her, and then I found out they all were taking a trip to Colorado together and nobody even bothered to tell me. I found that out on Facebook. Me and two girls were walking down the street and they completely ignored me, so I was walking behind them. Then I decided to just turn around and walk back home. They didn't notice and they never asked where I went. That really hurt. Also at another point one of the girls came up to me and just flat out said to me sometimes I don't understand why you have friends. Well, recently I've started wondering about it too. I was like a decoration on their conversations with each other, and they only talked to me to tell me things like be quiet. Or can I borrow this please? They're just gross, you deserve better friends. When they're only called you when they need something from you. The worst types of friends, I think everyone had that one friend. When I was in deep depression and finally opened up to my friends, and they made fun of me saying I was only trying to get attention. When they left me bleeding and concussed on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere in Cuba to find my way back to the resort completely disoriented. When you need help so you start writing him a message, then see three unanswered messages from you asking for his helps, and write above a conversation of you helping him out for hours on stupid shits. When I had a large hole in my foot after steeping on an iron spike. They laughed as the ambulance guys closed the doors. One of the ambulance guys said some friends you've got there. I realized he was right. When I have to be the first to message them, or they won't bother to talk to me. I went three months without a single text from anyone. I feel you bro. Why am I the one to only reach out to people to see what's up? It makes me question am I even a good friend? Am I too much? I've been working on my urges to care for people who barely check in on me. When the pandemic started no one checked in on me. I reached out to several people to see how they were doing. Shrug. When in my senior year I found myself completely and utterly alone after a difficult breakup. I was utterly alone my entire senior year too. Sorry to hear that was the case for you too. When I realized that my two best friends just came over to mess with me and make fun of me together. That's tough. Trios rarely work, I speak from experience. Two times I got into trios the other two ended up a lot closer while I became the outsider. Kinda feels like you lost a race because you all started at the same point. When they need you to be there for them, but don't want to be bothered to be there for you. Don't think I ever had asked my friends for support, but didn't know that I had to ask for it. Kinda just wished those years locked in my head just trying to figure out how to be happy, someone would come visit and see what's up. I wish I had chosen real friends growing up like Anthony who got me into wrestling and ninjas. Sarah who told me her ghost stories. Jordan who sat next to me at band. Genuine people and I traded it for false importance. My best friend from high school didn't invite me to his wedding. 
My husband's best friend, been buddies since GR2, asked my husband to organize his stag party. Said they hadn't set a date, but wanted to do the party anyway. Guy got married two weeks later, husband wasn't invited. When I stopped buying pot and alcohol for them, and they disappeared. This. My friends were always down for a smoke, but literally couldn't even roll for themselves. Then they had the audacity to get mad when I stopped sharing and told them that they're not friends they're takers. When they ditched me on prom two hours before the dance for another group of friends. That's fucking horrible. I hope it didn't have too much of an impact on your mental health. After I made a real friend and realized it's not normal to never do anything together outside of school or work. When I moved and no one ever visited me or called when I had kids and never invited me to theater weddings, and if I was I was sat at the random table. I thought we were super tight, but I was just a random to them. I'm so sorry for this. I hope you already found your people who consider you special. I got to the point where I noticed me and my best friend would only talk when I went out of my way to initiate conversations. I started feeling like I was bothering her, so I stopped texting her first to see how long it would take her to notice. It's been almost six years and she still hasn't noticed. When I got rid of Facebook. On the plus side, it did show me who the real friends were and who I was willing to keep up a meaningful relationship with. After deleting all my social media, the number of people who celebrated my birthday decreased drastically. Last year it was around 50 people dming and saying happy birthday, this year it was just 5. When they are not happy for you for doing well and don't care about you when you're not doing well. Someone once told me that people like to see you doing good but never better than them. When they chose to believe a rumor over me. Well so and so said this about you, that was when I chose my own path, and those that wanted to keep me as a friend decided to do so. I broke my leg and had to piss in one of those jars. They spilled my pee jar all over my carpet and ran away laughing without helping with the mess. When I became homeless overnight, only one person stuck around to help me. He had a go at me for never telling him about the abuse at home and then gave me a hug. He's my best friend and he will be my maid of honor. When she told me she wanted her bridesmaids not to look too pretty, and why don't I research how to be a pregnant bridesmaid and deal with it? She later skipped my baby shower and didn't send a gift. I opted out of being a bridesmaid in her wedding and opted out of her life right after the wedding. 10 years of friendship over in a matter of months. It was wild.